Oh, my God. Okay. Muggles, you got a second? Oh, do we need to talk? I think I'm gonna go with Mug Ross today since you freaked out so much last time. Fuck you! Real nice language with the new baby in the house. So I take it you think I shouldn't go with Ross? No pressure. No pressure. Unless you want him to turn you into a pig who just loves physics. Mug Ross used to be a famous painter, not a physicist. What are you trying to insult him? You know, it's interesting. I was doing this painting one time at a mall. I don't give a shit. Hey, cool it. You need to learn to be nicer to the other mugs. You don't own the shelf. I'm such a prick. Yeah, you kind of are. Oh, my God. Muggles, you're being ridiculous. Let's do this, Mug Ross. Shoot, let's get crazy. Fuck that. Mug Ross, do you think I'm being too hard on Muggles Cage? Maybe I should give him a second chance. We need more of that. When you're right, you're right. You're a good mug. Muggles, Mug Ross and I spoke, and he thinks I should give you a second chance. Give me one reason. Why you won't flip out like you did last time. I was a little drunk. Plus, I was horny. Um, thank you for your honesty. Probably a little too honest. Uh, would you like to join me for coffee today, Muggles? As long as I'm not intruding. Great. No freaking out this time. Step one, clear your mind. Step two. Ah! <sighs> so this is what peace and quiet is like. Gosh. That is some good coffee. I could drink a whole gallon. You mugs must live the life. We're like drug dealers. We, we come into town and get people absolutely addicted. I guess so. It's a silly observation to make. You're a pretty funny guy, Mug Ross. Huh. I'm still talking to my damn coffee mug.